Hi, I'm Danielle Verbrigge, Associate Editor with Funfire. I'm here today with Shannon O'Mara, Associate Director of Credit Research at Loomis Sales and Head of the Undergraduate Women's Investment Network. Have you ever encountered challenges recruiting diverse investment personnel at your firm? In fact, we have, and I think the entire industry struggles with this issue. And back in about 2014 and 15, I was noticing a trend where our applicant pool and those that we were hiring were not terribly diverse. So I went back and studied our applicant pool over the course of eight job searches we had done for junior credit research positions in our group and noted that only 18% of the applicant pool were women at that time. And I thought comparing and contrasting that to our senior analyst group, at that time, roughly 40% of our senior analysts were women. And I thought if we continue to, to do what we're doing, we're going to end up with a larger diversity issue farther down the road. What steps have you taken to improve the pipeline of diverse talent for your firm? So we've done a few things. The first thing is when we notice this trend in la the lack of diversity of our candidate pool, um, I decided to do something different, which was to create this undergraduate women's investment network, which we call UWIN, at the firm. And I pitched the idea to my CEO as a way to attract more diverse talent into the industry. So really working on that pipeline issue. And we really wanted to, um, to bring students into the office to show them what investment management is, educate them on the industry, and then also try to recruit them. We wanted to show them that the investment management world could be a potential career choice for them. So we do this through a two-pronged program. There's a mentorship component and an internship component. So every student that we accept into the program is matched with a Luma sales mentor that they work with throughout their school year. And we also have an internship program, which is a little bit more competitive, but it's a rotational program with one opportunity in the fall semester and then a different opportunity in the spring semester. And we bring them into the office and we, we offer technical training as well as professional development throughout the school year. What results have you seen from this program so far? How many students go on to get a job with your firm or in the industry? So thinking about this, this pipeline issue, we are targeting students who are in their sophomore or junior year and we do that really intentionally, is we want to influence students when they're at it their key sort of decision-making time period in their educational experience, which is when they try to figure out, what is my major gonna be? What classes am I taking? What clubs am I going to be interested in pursuing on campus? What internship should I be going after? So we wanna impact them and influence them at that point in time. So it's still a little early days for us because ju we're just completing now the fourth year of the program. And of the 90 students so far that we've worked with, um, a little less than 40 have now graduated from undergraduate. And those that we know of that have landed full-time roles, about two-thirds of them have joined our industry. So clearly the, the program is having an impact and in influencing career options. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk with me today. Thanks, Danielle. I really enjoyed it.